Uh, there's a lot of things, uh, Bruce. You know, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of shots. I know we we normally make uh, some mistakes that we made um, as far as some. You know, the, the way we want to cover certain situations, things that are very correctable. Um, you know, again, in a one-point game, you can pick out a million things that uh, you wish you could have done differently and and could have done, uh, you know, want to get one bucket, one basket, or, or one stop. So uh, it was encouraging. There, You know, there's nobody in the locker room with their head down. There's nobody, you know, giving into the, the you know, Toronto versus Cleveland thing, you know, they're a good team, but we're a good team also. So we, we, we're we going to approach Thursday with that that total approach, uh, 1 through 15. What were some of the things you might have said to your team after that tough overtime? Well, again, you know, we know what we can do better. We know the situations where we we made some mistakes, uh, you know, some situ things we can do uh, with certain matchups and certain lineups that are out there that were, you know, were different for us. And so, uh, you know, in, in an overtime game, you know, Nathan, you, there's so many things you can, you can point out and do. But I just told him, we'll look at it today. We did offensively and defensively. saw a lot of things that we can clean up and, and do better. And, uh, um, you know, again, it, it's, it's uh, their Cleveland team that you're going to have to give up something, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, James posting up, or, or core, but you can't give up both. And I thought we got, uh, had some things, situations where we gave up both, where he got his post ups, plus he was passing the ball to the weak side. So we, we got to clean up those situations, how we want to handle the weak side, how we want to handle his post ups. Coach, after the uh, game <clears throat> Very refreshing because he had, you know, as, you know, talking to him, showed him the shot, two great looks that he normally, you know, he feels good with. We feel good with. Demar made the right decision, you know. He had the defense collapse on him. He found him. So, uh, you know, again, it, it's easy. Like I said, in a one-point game, to pick out shots and this shot, that shot, this shot. But for the most part, I thought we we, you know, took the shots we had that they gave the defense gave us um, in those situations. He had, been, he had been out before that last possession. Mm -hmm. uh, they were working on his shoulder. Part of the reason he's out there, I think they took him out. He will not hesitate in the shoulder. Well, you, just his toughness, his maturity, his IQ, Eric, is is unbelievable. Uh, you know, he got hit on his shoulder. You know, it's just, you know, I think it scared him more than anything else. You know, it was, you know, hurt a little bit, but he we knew that going in, but he was ready to go back in. But his his confidence level, our confidence level in him, his teammates' confidence level in him is at an all time high and, and that we'll take those shots every time down because you know, we feel confident he can make those. Last night LeBron said he felt like he had an off night. How much credit do you give him? Again, I thought all of our all the guys who guarded him, whether it was Pascal, O. G. Um, you know, all in those situations did a good job of guarding him. Uh, you know, you're not going to stop him. He, he's, he's one of those guys that, uh, you know, you can you want to try to break his rhythm, try to make him do different things. But, you know, I, I haven't seen anybody yet just to stop him. So we got to do some different things and whether, you know, uh, how we want to guard him, we want to do that. But, again, uh, I thought both guys, Pascal and, and OG, you know, broke his rhythm as much as you possibly can. But what we can't do is is lose people on the weak side, lose shooters and and uh, not know where they are. Do you guys have to fight the instinct to stay, stay at home when you have him in the post? That's always a big guy, especially with him at the five, is it, a big instinct. And you're always fighting against that, whether it's JV or Serge or Jakob. Uh, you know, and those are some things we can clean up that we were doing to put ourselves in that in that position to to overhelp. And and to help out, yeah. yeah you got to you got to stay with, stay with who who you're with. And there's certain plays that you don't want to help off of. And uh, there are certain situations where we didn't want to want to switch you know switch him on to. And and we got caught on that a couple of times. 
No, no. All that bull crap. He, he's not. No, uh-uh. He didn't look tired. Don't let him fool you. Can you talk about the confidence you guys have. Uh, many of the players have really talked about the high degree of confidence. Is it a different feeling from your past? No question. I, I, again, that's why I felt someone asked, Bruce asked the first question, that, you know, I, I, I detect the guys are, are very confident. Um, and there's no dejection or defeated attitude where, you know, there's been times in the past in the playoffs where guys, you know, you can't do this. But I, I don't detect that at all. I feel like I, I sense that our guys feel like that there's situations that, that we can clean up, plays we can make, plays we can take away. Uh, just our completions at the rim. I think our numbers were like 16 for, 30, uh, 16 for 36 at the rim. You know, and those are, are numbers that we got to get up. No, you're not going to go 100%, but you can get those up, uh, those type of plays. And, uh, you know, some of our turnover were live ball. We, I think we had seven live ball turnovers where we gave it to them and they off to the races. You know, I'd, like I always say, you, I want them to throw it 12 rows up in the stands instead of a live ball turnover. So, um, you know, a lot of things we can clean up in, in a one-point game. Uh, you know, and again, they're going to come out with a determined attitude, and we do, we are too. So Thursday night will be a another battle. What, what kind of explanation did they give you when you were asking for the review? On the not a good one. Not a good one. Not a good one. They, they, well, I don't think they felt like it was a. Uh, they said it wasn't a, a, a f intentional. It was incidental. But my thing is, let's review it. That's why we have the fifty million dollar replay center. Uh, let's get it right. And nobody's right or wrong, and if, if they look at it and say, hey, it wasn't intended, okay, but let at least look at it. And that's that's my thing, and I thought that's why we have the replay center. So let's get it right. There's no excuse for that that uh, we can't at least go. We look at a lot less than the, where the guy has blood and, and uh, bleeding. So let's go at least go look at it. I'm not saying the officials are right or wrong, but – you know, as, a, as a, a league, I think we owe it to the players and to the fans. That's why we have the replay center, you know, is to look at it. Did you happen to see any of the stuff that was happening on the sidelines during the break? No, no. I, I saw it at 3 o'clock in the morning, but I didn't see it, you know, at, when it happened. I don't care. I, it's Drake. I love Drake. I think he, he, you know, he's got a right to say, believe me, whatever he said to Perk, I've heard a lot worse in, in other arenas to me, you know. So uh, it, it, it's not, I, I love it. No problem whatsoever with Drake and, and being excited, being passionate. You know, I, it, we all should be that passionate. And, I, you know, so none whatsoever, nothing whatsoever. No, not for me. You know, he's, he's Drake's a grown, grown man. I mean, he, you know, he understands. I love his passion, though. I love his passion. There's nothing. He's welcome there on the sidelines saying what he says. You know, um, whatever, whatever he says. I, and again, he's not saying anything that's that's out of line or out of whack or whatever. I mean, he's been there for eighty the whole year for one series. So I think it's just, you know, people get caught up on uh, in, in, you know, let's keep the main thing the main thing. When you were talking earlier about the difference in this year's team versus the previous year's in conference play, how much of that played into this more of a sense of bounce back, not going to Cleveland down 0-2, not losing two in a row at home, something that you Well, when you think in the negative, the automatically you're going to, yeah, it's, it's a negative. But I don't think we're, we're thinking that way. And that's the difference, Eric, I think is what you're asking. I don't. I don't sense that. Oh, woe is me. Or oh, was scared. No, no. We we see what we the mistakes we made. I see some of the things I can do different as, in myself as a coach, as a coaching staff. You know, some different sets we can run, different things we can do in certain situations. So we all, you know, can see little things. And like I said, an overtime game or a close game, um, all the the attention to details, all the little things make the difference. Do you have a sense of what's going Right. I thought he came in the fourth quarter and tried to knock down a couple of shots. Uh, but again, uh, you know, we need all of our bigs to rebound Ryan uh, as much as anything else. Forget the shooting. For, I don't care about the number of shooting, but you can defend and rebound are the two areas and space and make sure you keep the proper spacing. Uh, I thought, you know, a few times our all some of our bigs got in the wrong spot spacing wise and and really crowded the ball. 
So all you know, you can do other things to help us win other than just knock down jump shots or score buckets, uh, mainly rebound. And uh, you know, we got to do a better job of keeping Tristan Thompson uh, and his nine offensive rebounds off the glass, and that's a five-man job. <clears throat> You know, again, you know, he's got some open looks, and he's got to take those. He's got to take them. But with that said, he still has to defend. I, let's let's put it on the rebounding, defending. Okay, there's going to be series or, or matchups where you might get, not get the shot, but not just surge all of our guys. Let's make sure we we you know do some of the other things. You know, screening, rebounding, uh, get some deflections, get back in transition, whatever it is. You know, there's other things that contribute to winning. Uh, that, that guys can do.